So guys, I bet you're wondering why this vlog is on a Wednesday and why I didn't post last week. So I I know I keep reformatting stuff. I'm just trying to work around a schedule and figure out how things will go. We should still always have videos on Saturdays. Um, but the vlogs now will be coming out at the end of the month. Um, it really depends on the length of the vlog. So if the whole vlog is... 30 minutes altogether, then we're getting two videos a um, on the last day. And the reason why, really, is because, especially right now with COVID going on and everything, we uh, I don't have much to do. Um, I know that sounds kind of sad, but, I mean, we're all kind of the same. So what I'm going to do, especially since I updated this in here of being my monthly drawer is we're going to show a monthly haul. So since this is the first month that we're doing this, um, you're going to see some stuff from weeks prior and everything, but it's just going to be the easiest way to show it off. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be videos compiled throughout the entire month. Um, excuse me. Pla replacing those, I might be doing a podcast style sort of thing with some friends. Um, don't know how we're going to do that yet, but hopefully sometime next month we're going to do it. Um, it's going to mainly, it's going to be like kind of stupid stuff sometimes, maybe some more deeper conversations, but really like our plan for the first one is to debate who would win in all, all out battle Royale from, uh, Billy Mays, Vince from ShamWow and, uh, Phil Swift and Anthony Sullivan, uh, in an all out anime style battle royale brawl. Um, I have some good points on why Phil Swift would win. So, uh, we'll get to that hopefully next month, if not the month after that. Um, so yeah, let's just do the monthly haul really quick. This is going to be probably the shortest vlog out of all of it. Cause I kind of just thought of this last week. Um, so Let's look at it. Alright, so this is how the... Alright, sorry guys. So my camera is acting weird on the other end of the phone. But when I shoot with my face, it's working fine. Which is kind of weird. Um, I got it temporarily fixed for like a day and then it went back to doing this. So I'm going to have to kind of do it with my ugly mug in for right now. Um, but I'll explain how we're going to work this in... Um, Hall, and then I'm going to basically tell you guys the rules afterwards of that I run by. So let's start here. We got my four pops that I got this month. So I got the 40th anniversary Princess Leia, um, Poe Dameron, and then the two Target exclusive Galaxy's Edge droids. That's a mouthful. It's only able to find one of the Lego Pokemon this month, so I got Parasect, or Paris, sorry. Then we got the knockoff Victini, Zapdos, Latios, and Charizard. And then for movies, we got La Llorona, um, Avengers for a video game, Lucario and the Mystery of Mew, Mew, and then Pokemon Galactic Battles. Next, we'll go over here. And this is going to be a little hard for me to film, so give me a second. So we got Star Wars Myths and Fables, Star Wars The Clone Wars Stories of Light and Dark. I'm actually reading Myth and Fables right now. Three Jokers, um, Star Wars IDW 2518, and then The Clone Wars 1s 1 through 3. Uh, Bounty Hunters, Star Wars number 6, and then Darth Vader number 5. Bounty Hunter's number five, by the way. And these are the exclusives that I got with Endgame. These are the Lego minifigure doubles that I got. Um, we're going to talk about Lego stuff in a little bit, how that's going to be run. And then these are Pokemon cards, Magic cards, and Dragon Ball Z cards I got. We're going to uh, get into that in a little bit. I'm going to shoot that a little differently. So here are all the action figures. Um... So, the haul looks a little big this month, and then I'll explain why, and I'll explain how it's going to be run. 
but we got the three refractors that make the camera. We got Revenge of the Fallen Soundwave. We got Hoist. Got Starscream. Um, well, let's do all the Transformers. Barricade, Cliff Jumper, Leadfoot, Topspin, and Megatron. Then over here for Star Wars, we got Tebow, um, the Camino Trooper, the RX Droid, and Captain Cardinal. For Marvel, we got the Hulk and Wolverine 2 pack, Gwen Stacy. Back there's Cable. We got the Outback Hulk, which was also came with the Avengers game. Then we got Stan the Man back there. Um, so I will pick a favorite for. Sorry, I'm sweating because it's so hot in here. Um, I'll pick a favorite for each category. Uh, we won't talk about Pokemon or Lego yet, um, simply because I'm going to explain that in a little bit. Let me adjust my hand. <laughs> Whoop. I'm keeping that in the video. Um, so, so far for favorites for Pops, I really, really like this uh, C10 droid Pop. Obviously, the Lego Pokemon is going to have to go to Paris because there's no option there. I'm honestly loving the brown Charizard for the knockoff ones. Considering I only played Avengers, I haven't watched anything else for the movies. And I'm not going to grab it because it's going to knock everything down. I like the Avengers game the most. Um, for figures, for Transformers, I have to say the Starscream figure. For um, Marvel, I really, really like the Stan Lee one I got. And then for Star Wars, loving Captain Cardinal. Um, so out of those three, though, I would have to say Stan Lee's my favorite. Um, for the books, for actual books, I'm, I haven't read the Clone Wars one yet, but Myths and Fables I'm enjoying. For comic books, I have to say uh, Three Jokers is pretty much the best one, even though I don't really read DC Comics. Um, and like I said, I'll talk about Legos and cards in a minute. But, um... Yeah, out of everything, though, I'd have to say probably my favorite is the uh, Starscream figure. So let's look at the cards really quick. Bear with the weird focusing really quick. I just wanted to show kind of my process with organizing and um, figures and stuff like that. Um, so I keep all the spare parts in this container, usually. And then once I finish that, I... Um, Kind of just reorganize them, you know? Um, and then I'll put them in a different case, which I'll show them. Bear way. with me on the stuff here, but this is where I keep my rares and non-rares for the month. And I'll go through them and put them away in cases. I actually need more cases, uh, but we'll be working on that soon. All right, guys, so let's look at these cards I got this month. So I use these booklets to hold my cards for the month, and then I'll go and sleeve them and put them in my uh, respective binders. So... These are the magic cards. We got Bone Splitters. Then we got Temple of the Triumph and Luris of the Dream Den. Then we got Laka, uh, Capricol Outcast, which is a mythic. Then we got Extinction Event, which I think is my second one. That's for magic. Now for Pokemon, we got a Hollow Corviknight, we got a Reverse Alolan, or Galarian Darumaka, a Reverse Ninetales, a uh, Roserade, a Reverse Milsery, a Hollow Darilodon, a Reverse Ghastly, a Sunkissed V, or Stun Stunfisk V, a Claydol, a Reverse Relicanth, a Reverse uh, Diino, a Dracovish Hollow, a um, Star Raptor, and a Reverse Swana. So I am going to still record me opening the packs for now on, but I might not post them if I don't get anything cool. Um, not to sound like negative there, but I mean, it would be kind of uninteresting if you guys saw me just open rare cards and nothing else. So we got Sun Goku, 
uh, Bursting with Energy, Goku Black, Future uh, Decimator, Vegito Infinite, whoops, Infinite Radiance, and Dodoria Brimming with Power. So that's going to be... That's going to be the hardest one to find is the Dragon Ball Z ones. But, uh, yeah, so we'll talk about Lego next. Not one of... Oh, I just went to turn on Pokemon Silver uh, to keep playing it. Because um, that's the last Game Boy Color game that I need to beat. And... I just completely corrupted the data somehow. And now I have to restart the game. Which really stinks because I kind of actually got really, really connected to my team. I hope I could kind of recreate the team, but, um, yeah, so, that sucks. I'm going to take a week off of playing Silver in respects to them, and then get back to it. So how LEGO's going to work with this is I'm going to kind of show you guys maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks, depending on how things are bought and how things go. Um, the hall, and then I'm going to um, show you where it's put. So basically, this is how I generalize everything: is I'll put it in these areas, and then we got like the extra important pieces, and then the studs here, and then the other extra pieces I can just throw in storage. But um, I'll line them up like this, and then like the vehicles will go in their actual area, the set pieces will go in their actual areas. Um, if I have any doubles of characters, so like Harry and Hermione, they'll be put in storage. And then people will go into general areas. So like the clones are going to go in training uh, for a week. And then they get put into a respective spot. Battle droids will be automatically put with other battle droids. Because you don't need to chain, train battle droids. Um, Lily and Umbridge and Fred will be put with uh, the Harry Potter Hogwarts stuff and then like the centaurs and the giant I can't remember the name of right now will be put in the Forbidden Forest so I'll kind of show that off in so a minute. guys that's the video um, sorry I'm turning on Netflix right now but um, I hope you guys like this change to a monthly video um, for a vlog and also I do have to mention that Angie actually started up something for my um, YouTube page. This is all her. This is not me. Um, I will be helping her with the money for this, though. But uh, she started a thing that the f my first 130 subscribers will be entered into a raffle once I hit 130 for a $20 gift card of their choosing. Um, so... All you have to do is subscribe and either comment on this video or send me a message that you did so and you'll be entered into the raffle. Um, so let me know. Thanks guys. Uh, it's that Nerd Ryan signing off and see you guys next month.